Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, I really just wanted to do this video to more or less give you a, a testimony briefly about, you know, something just kind of I went through, dealt with this past weekend. Um, I figured it might help somebody, you know, and again, this is this is to my fellow believers. If we don't hold the same beliefs, this isn't necessarily to you. Maybe it'll help you. But, you know, this is really I'm speaking of believers, like minded believers right now. Because I know some people are struggling just like me. And hopefully this will be a benefit to you. Because Lord knows I was really going through it this weekend. You know, um, you know, it, it really what it boiled down to for me is that the cares of this life have really just gotten me down. And, and it kind of just really started coming to a head this past, really just Saturday night. Saturday during the day and, and Saturday night. And um I don't know what, what brought it on. I don't know what sparked it, but I know it's it's been over time. I've been dealing with this uh, probably for the last month or two now. It's just, you know, you, those feelings of being tired. You know, if it's not one thing, if uh, it's another, you know, dealing with situations at home. You know, you, got, you know, obviously I'm a father dealing with my daughter and the different things with her and dealing with issues at church and, you know, ministry and matters of the heart and, and, and just, you know, it seemed like just everything. It seems there's so many different things weighing on me in, in my mind and in my spirit. And, and and it's just, you know, there are just a lot of things, a lot of things I've been dealing with. And it, and it really, on, on some level, it just kind of came to a head this, this Saturday, this past Saturday. And really what it boiled down to was an attack on my mind. You know, it seemed like just feelings of inadequacy and, 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 and insecurity. You know, you're, you're not good enough. And no matter what you do, you know, you're not going to have any success. And no matter what, how much you pray, the Lord is not there for you. He doesn't care. And, um, you know, it, it's just it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. You can pray. You can read. You can study. You'll never be who you think you're going to be. And you never be good enough. And you never be you're never going to have any success. I mean, like every single Every single thing that you can think of that's negative concerning the situations that I've been dealing with in my life, it just all started falling on my head. And it was like one of those Southwest Airlines moments, you know, you want to get away. And um, that's really what I, I just felt. Like. I just want to go away. I, I don't. I don't want to deal with this, you know. I don't want to deal with this pain. I don't want to deal with this struggle. I, I it's it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. And, and you know, and, and I know it may not seem like a big deal to everybody, but one man's mountain is another man's molehill. What might be something that's easy for you to get over might be a struggle for me, and vice versa. But this is it's, it was just really difficult for me, and it was, it's really all here. It's it's really all in your mind and you know a lot of, well it's not all in your mind but as far as I was concerned this past weekend that's really where the struggle was and 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 then you know in my struggle I find find myself you know wanting to go back home so to speak you know behold I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceived me that's what that's what the, the psalmist said and so sin if for some of us is home that's where we're comfortable you know that's that's where what we've grown accustomed to and, and that's the that's the thing a lot of us fall back to because it's easier. Sometimes it feels like it's easier. It seems like it's easier. I, I, I don't want to deal with this hurt. I, I don't want to deal with this pain. So we self-medicate with sin. You know, I found myself sending out little text messages and trying to make phone calls, calling people. I know I had no business trying to call. Lord, cut that off. Like, mm -mm, no, nah, 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 we're not going to do that. And then, you know, you start thinking, well, man, I, I just I don't want to deal with this. You start thinking about oh, smoking, drinking, just anything, you know, I, I don't want to deal with this pain. But it's like I couldn't bring myself to do any of that. And then I found myself like, OK, well, you know, maybe I'll just have a pig house session and watch some movies or something. You know, so I went and grabbed some grabbed some junk food and got home and I watched some movies and I watched one movie and and, and, I, and, and I watched another. And I found myself during the second movie I watched. I'm just sitting there fighting off tears during the movie. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? And um, after it was over, I just. I turned I turned my TV off and, you know, I, I, I tried to listen to music and, and, and it was like, you know, music from the past that, you know, may have made me feel better, made me put put me in a happier mood. And, you know, it, it, that didn't work. I, I just cut the music off because I'm like, this ain't helping. It was like nothing I did was helping. 
And I, I just found myself like, you know, what's the point? You know, what's the point? You know, everything, it's like nothing I'm doing is helping it. And it's like, you, you know, you should lean on the Lord, but you don't. You don't. You, you, you. Everything but Jesus is who you've fallen back on because, you know, where Jesus is taking you through right now, it ain't comfortable. It's not fun at the moment. It's not enjoyable at the moment. You ain't got no joy. You ain't got no peace. You, you, do you really have a relationship with the Lord? Mind you, this is all the stuff that I'm dealing with here. And um, but, you know, and I sat there, I'm laying in the bed, I'm crying and I'm just struggling and, and, and I can't get no rest. I can't get any peace. And it's like, well, I'm just like, I'm, you know, what? I don't even want to go to church. I, I don't even want to go. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I, I'm just, I'm going to stay home. I'm not dealing with this. But then I'm like, I'm a father and I'm not going to bring my struggles onto my child. She needs this. She needs to be in the house of the Lord. And I'm not going to keep her from from going, you know, just because I'm struggling right now. So I said, well, I got to, you know, I guess I got to get up and take her. And, and so, you know, I'm just sitting there. But it's like it's for me, I'm like, well, what's the use? What, what am I doing all this for? What's the point? You know, so I, I cried myself to sleep Saturday night and um, I woke up normal time on Saturday, on Sunday morning. I laid in the bed probably for at least an hour <sighs> struggling. Like, do, am I really going to get up? You know, do you really want to go to church? Like, what was the point? I know you got to take take your daughter there, but, you know, I got to take my daughter there. But for what you know i can take her and i'm gonna just drop her off and then go back home because i don't i don't want to see nobody i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to deal with anybody I just i was done and um you know sometimes you hear that still small voice and i didn't even really know if it was the lord or not but some just said if you go i'll meet you there and so i'm sitting there just even question that, like, okay, yeah, okay, whatever. I got to go because I got to take my daughter. So I guess I, I just, I guess I just get myself up there. And a whole while I'm just fussing and complaining to myself. And I just don't want to deal with this. I, I don't want to go. I, I don't want to see anybody. And I'm sitting in church, you know, like any church, people coming up to you. Hey, praise the Lord. How you doing? Yada, yada, yada. You good? You all right? I didn't want to deal with it. I had to step out of church once or twice because I didn't feel like talking to anybody. I didn't want to deal with anybody. I didn't want to be bothered. And then when 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 when, when, when the choir was singing and Sister Nezra was, was doing her thing yesterday and the spirit started moving, some in me wanted to jump up, but I was even resistant to it. It was like, man, it was like the Lord was trying to move and I was resisting it. I was like, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not getting up. I almost started crying, but I was like, nope. I just didn't want it. I, I didn't want it. I'm 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 tired. You know, and I kept resisting it. I kept on and and, and then, you know, eventually, you know, the, the service kept going. The service kept moving, the going on, and pastor was preaching. And by the end of the service, my countenance had been lifted. My countenance had been lifted to the point where I could deal with people again. I felt better. I was still struggling a little bit, but I felt better. I said, okay, I, I can, I can go on. Right. I can, I can, you know, I, I, I'm all right. I'm all right. I can talk to people now. I felt a little bit better. And so I went on, you know, had dinner with my family and we, you know, hung out with them, took a little nap in between service. And I went back to night service and then the Lord moved again. I pressed on and went to night service. I really didn't want to go at first. And I said, I guess I'll just go. What else I got to do on Sunday night? Right. And you know what? I went to night service and not only did the Lord lift my countenance, but I, I left the service feeling encouraged. I left the service feeling like I could go on, feeling like everything's going to be all right. The Lord is just like, just trust me. And pastor gave a scripture last night before the end of service. He said, when you're overwhelmed and when you're struggling and when you're going through something, he said he, he quoted Job and he said he knows the way that I take. And after I'm tried, I shall come forth as gold. And I left the service. I came in the church Sunday morning discouraged and I came in the church Sunday morning down and I came not wanting to do anything. I came ready to quit. I came ready to give up and just say, forget it. I don't I don't I don't want to deal with this. And I left knowing that no matter what, I can make it.
I can take a little bit more. I can go through. I can do it. So what am I saying? When you're going through these times, and I know I'm not alone in this, I realized something. I said, we're not islands unto ourselves. None of us are, even though we feel like we're isolated and alone and nobody knows. And then there are times like when my situation, you can't talk to nobody because sometimes you you already know what they're going to say and you need something a little bit more. That's when you really need the Lord to step in. But it's at those times when you're struggling that's when you need to push. When you're struggling mentally and, and emotionally and spiritually, that's when you need to really drive through. You know, when you get those negative thoughts and those feelings of insecurity and inadequacies and, you know, you get down on yourself and you think that you can't make it, you, you can't do it. What's the use of it all? You see, it's at that point that you find yourself running back to the comfort of sin and the convenience of your old ways. But see, that's not the move. That's really not where God wants you to be. See, that's when that's when you got to push past what you see. That's when you have to swim through that sea of emotions that you're drowning in. That's when you have to drudge through the, 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 the muck and the mire of your situation. But why? Because we walk by faith and not by sight. It's not about what you see. It's not about what the situation looks like. And see those emotions that you're drowning in? See, emotions can be misleading. Emotions can be fleeting. They, they're up and down like a roller coaster. But it, it's at that point when you're drowning in that sea of emotions that you have to say, like Job said, and that I know my Redeemer liveth. It's, you have to you have to at that point, you have to say, like Paul said, and you have to say, I know in whom I have believed. You got to push past all that nonsense. See, the, the, the muck and the mire that you're in, that, that situation, it, it, I, I know it's tiresome. And I know it, it wears you down and you feel like you can't take it. But then you got to remember what Paul said to the Corinthian church. He said, no temptation, no test, no trial has taken you, but such is common to man that God with that temptation, with that test, with that trial, He's going to make a way of escape so that you can be able to bear it. There's nothing that you're going through, saints of the most high God, that the Lord Jesus has not provided for you a way of escape. He has provided you a, a vehicle in the Holy Ghost to be able to bear the test, the trials, the tribulations, the struggles that we all go through. What I'm saying to y'all at some point, just like me, and believe me, I'm preaching to me first. We got to learn to trust in the Lord. And if you don't have a lot of experiences to fall back on, start with the word of God. Start there. Learn to trust him through his word. And then once you've had some experiences, when you go through again, because the times are going to come, you're going to go through here and there. It's just life. But then you can lean not only on the word of God, but you'll be able to lean on the experiences and you'll know beyond the shadow of a doubt that the Lord is going to bring you through. You'll know that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. You know that he'll be with you always, even until the end, no matter where you are, where you're going or what you're doing, he's going to be with you. God bless y'all. Thank you for your time. Be encouraged.